guys, welcome back to my channel. And I know I look a little bit crazy right now. I'm just in the middle of <laughs> brushing out my hair. Um, but I thought I would take you guys with me today because I'm going to an antique market and then hopefully to vintage clothing stores. So I wanted to take you guys with me just to show you guys what I see, what I find, just kind of like hang out with you guys for the day. Um, so I'm kind of in a rush. So that's why I'm filming this intro while I do my hair. So um, I'm just gonna finish getting dressed and then we will head out and yeah. My great grandma had eggs like this and it just reminds me of hanging out at her house and I would always play with them. I don't know how she let me play with them because they're so heavy and they could easily break but she would always let me play with them and these remind me so much of the eggs that she used to have. They were in like a little wooden box. What is that? What is this? Oh my god, that is so pretty. <laughs> This is amazing. Okay, this is the second stop. It's not my favorite vintage store, but I was across the street, so I figured I might as well. I'm freaking out, this is so cute. Thank you. 
my gosh, you guys are not going to believe the things that I found. I have to do a haul for you guys like right now because the pieces are just absolutely amazing. Let me like take off my hat. Okay, so I only ended up getting four items. However, they are all like the most amazing gems ever. So I really want to like try them on and show them to you guys. But I'm going to be starting out with an item that is probably like the least exciting for most of you. So I ended up getting this little bear because I couldn't resist how cute he was. He has like a very like vintagey kind of vibe to him, if you know what I mean. It does have its original tags still attached. It's from the 1990s, I believe 1997, but he's really, really cute. And it has that like the little beads at the bottom. So it has like a really nice weight to it. And also the little legs move which is really important to me. I really like it when they move. Yeah, I don't know. I just like fell in love with him and I thought he was really, really cute. And he was only $12, so I figured I would get him because he just looked really cute and has kind of like a vintage vibe to it. I feel like bears nowadays are just not this cute. So I ended up getting that. Um, okay, so that's that. Okay, I'm gonna be putting on the next item that I have. So these are items that I got in the first antique store that I went to, like the Hamilton Antique Market or the Antique mall that's like the very first place that I went to so I ended up getting the bear there and then I ended up getting a dress and a hat so I'm gonna be putting the pieces on so you guys can actually see them on instead of me just holding them up um so yeah I'm gonna go put that on and prepare yourselves okay I don't think you guys are ready for the next item but oh my gosh I have never felt prettier in my entire life this is so 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 cute and completely different neckline than what I usually buy like look at this it is absolutely stunning okay, let me like move my camera down so you guys can actually see the bottom okay I think you guys are gonna be able to see more of it now that's a little bit lower I did also get this hat but we're gonna be talking about that a little bit later Look at how stunning this dress is. It is from the 1950s and you guys are not going to believe how much I actually paid for this. I believe it was $45 for a perfect condition 1950s dress. It is just to die for. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has like a florally kind of print on it. Let me get closer so you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's got like all these little flowers on it. It's really, really pretty, and I love the way that it looks with this hat. So I ended up getting this little straw hat. You guys saw me pick it up at the store, um, and it's absolutely stunning because it's made out of all these little straw bits, obviously, and then it has this kind of like burnt orange velvet little ribbon here, and then it also has these little like sequins, little flower detailing. Really, really pretty. Okay, now wait till you see it on with this dress. You guys are not ready. Like, can we talk about how beautiful this outfit is? I actually feel like an old Hollywood starlet or something, but I just, I wanted to get warm outside so that I can actually wear this outfit out because it is absolutely divine. So the hat was actually the biggest steal of the day. It was only $29, which I actually think is an amazing price for a vintage hat in general and one in pristine condition. I think it's a really good price. So absolutely love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on the very last item and you guys, are going to faint like <laughs> get ready there is a reason i left this piece for last because it is the most amazing thing i have ever purchased in my entire life this is an absolute dream it's 1940s and it is stunning like it has this like plaid little stripe thing at the bottom and then the front i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it very well but it has all of this fringe on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this entire thing is fringe and then it just ties at the back. It is an absolute 1940s dream. I'm actually screaming. I've never found a dress like this in my size. Or I mean, no, it's a lie. I have seen some on Etsy for like $300, $400, which is just not in my price range and also I want to be able to try it on if I'm going to be spending that kind of money on a dress obviously so I did end up getting this at Vintage Soul Geek it was $139 which is a little bit pricey but for a perfect condition in 1940s dress I do think that's a really good price I literally I'm like standing on my tippy toes so you guys can see like the entire thing at the bottom but it is just such a dream I actually feel like so glamorous like you know you see like those 1940s photos of those girls walking around in kind of like fitted dresses like this like that is exactly how I feel right now I'm gonna insert some photos of what I'm talking about but that is exactly how I feel right now it is just a dream 
I think this might be my new favorite dress in my collection. Actually, I really, really love it. Um, so yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know in the comments below which of the four pieces was your favorite because honestly, I don't even think I can choose. I'm just like in love with everything that I got. Um, also, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and going to the antique market and the vintage shops. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!